Hello and welcome back to another Factorio tutorial. My name's Nadia Brute and let's get cracking. Today we're talking about basic trains. Now, never mind all this going on, that's later episodes. Today we're just going to focus on how to do a basic train network. Now, I have, this is going to be my station here. So, what we're going to do is a simple point to point line and then we're going to make it a little bit harder. Now, I want to back this up, I'm just thinking about something quickly. Now, to start doing trains, you need to build the train lines. So they require stone, steel, plate, and iron sticks. Now they're fairly easy. If I come down here, I should be able to show you the build. Now it's a wise idea to automate it because you're going to be using a lot of them. Without uh, automation, you'll be there for days trying to smelt or uh, we'll craft up enough. So my build's over here. It's just a simple logistics robot build. And here we are. So it's something making make nine sticks. Gets requested to here along with stone. That and that. See these require a little bit more stuff. And that throws it in there for me to use and I can request it into my inventory. So I'll do that now. I'll just set this up so that I've got, always got them on hand. And the bendy one. Okay, so the logistics bots are going to go and they're going to grab railway line for me and they're going to bring it to me just like this. So you can see that now I'm topped up. So let's get started with our train line. Now the idea behind trains is to move um, an amount of materials a distance. Now you can see down here I'm moving um, raw resources up into the factory. And it work, trains work a little bit better than conveyor belts. So what we're going to do is we're going to move um, this little bit of iron here into the station. Well, actually into the station here and then we're going to put it onto our line and into our uh, furnace setup. So that's what we're going to do. To start with we're going to need a station. So yep, that looks good. We'll throw down a train stop. Uh, train stop Predro Clone Warrior 85 Entunes. This is going to be tutorial drop off. Rightio. Now our trains are going to come into here. Now we need to get them out up here. Now I'll just put this line down quickly uh, with the gate to let out the trains. And now the next thing I want to do is I want the trains to stop somewhere about here. So we want to give ourselves enough space, yep that looks good, something like that. Now what I'm going to cover next is actually how to do corners in this game. Uh, it's not very intuitive, I'll throw down some lights so that we can see, come on really, there we go. Now the way you do corners is you have these corner pieces. Okay. And now every corner doesn't require two of them, it requires two of the corner pieces and then one of the straight pieces. So just remember that for a moment, because uh, it's going to become important. And, and each, um, each time you hit R, it can move to a different orientation, there's eight in total. So just keep that in mind, it might take you a little bit to find the one you want. Now, the way you do a corner, I'll do it like this so it's nice and clear. That's a spare. Okay, so you can see here how this has the rail stops at the end of them. To make a corner, what you have to do is actually grab a diagonal piece like that and throw that down. Now, can you see how there's two rail stops there? That's not connected. Since they added the, ra the stops in uh, point 11 branch, it's become a hell of a lot easier to identify that your track isn't connected. So that's how you do a corner. Now that's a little bit expanded. Now if you were to try and do a corner, something like this, you notice that I've got two rail stops here. This is not connected, it won't be connected until I add in a third piece there. Okay, So keep that in mind, um, drive your train along it, if the train doesn't want to drive you're missing a piece. That's probably one of the biggest things in uh, when you're a beginner with trains uh, that you'll miss. Now, oops, that's gone too far. Perfect. Right, so we've hooked it up now. We need our second train stop. A train stop is just 
uh, iron plate, steel plate and electronic circuits. Very straightforward, very simple. Okay, we're going to throw down our train stop. Now the next thing we're going to need is two locomotives. Now the reason we're doing two locomotives is because this is point to point. So it goes from, oops, here we go. Tutorial, pick up, set name. The reason this is going to be point to point is because it's just going to go from the drop off to the pickup. It's not going to turn around, it's just going to go point to point. Now, this is the most basic setup that one will ever have for trains, and we'll get into the more advanced ones later. Now, I'll just go and show you very quickly how to do an engine build. This is very simple. What is this missing? 15 engine units. Shall I just set that to 15? Whoa, not that many. Right, here's my engine build. So an engine requires pipe, gear wheels, and steel plates. So there's a few steps here, but basically you just need an iron line and a steel line, and then you can build it. I just put it into uh, the logistics network, because that way it's really easy and I can request them in. There we go. Oh, there's one, there's two, there's three. They'll bring me more eventually. The other thing we're going to need is uh, some wagons. So we'll put one wagon. We'll get one wagon. Uh, we need 30 of them. And then we're going to cover how to do the station. So while we're waiting for that, we can do the station. No, on second thoughts. Generally it's a wise idea to do the engine first. The reason being... Right. Oops. I'm going to need some fuel. Okie dokie. Now, to fill up a train manually, what you actually have to do is... You have to click on it and then go view locomotive and then that brings it up and then you can throw it in. Now can we do it another way? You can also control click on it or shift click. Now this what we're going to do is we're just going to get it in the right spot first. So we're going to go to the tutorial pickup, we're going to add the station and then we're going to say run the train. Okay, Where it stops now is where um, everything will line up to. So put that down there so that we've got a gauge for where everything needs to be. We'll grab a second load of locomotive to put on the other end. Spin him around. And uh, we need to fuel him up shortly. Just notice something here. Just snag that. That's coming. Don't, uh, don't get excited. Okay. That's fueled. So now we've got uh, our train in position. We can start uh, figuring out how the station's going to look. Now the first thing we want to do is we want to put down some fueling spots for our locomotives. So they go something like that and that. Now I'm just going to use requested chests because they're nice and easy. Ooh. We can see here we have a bit of an issue that's sitting outside of the network. I'll just snag another one so I can add that in. Now, theoretically, you can fit, I think it's six, five, I think six work. Let's test it out. Okay, now you can see where the arms go as to what they'll load or unload. So in this case, six will work. Okay, that gives us max unloading. But I like to go with four, just because it's a little bit easier on my brain. Now, from here, the wisest thing to do is actually to put it into a chest. Now, the reason for that, let's just go and call in some iron chests. The reason for that 
is because when you put things from a chest to a chest, now this is just storage, so just like a chest. When you put things from storage to storage using an inserter, you get the inserter stack bonus, which means that your loading or unloading will be a hell of a lot faster. So keep that in mind when you're, uh, when you're building your stations. You, you ideally want to go to a box. That way it'll allow it to move nice and fast. Now from here, there's a couple of different ways of doing it, but I like to do it this way because it's easy on my brain. Okay, so that'll work. It'll work nice. Oops. So here it'll load and unload and do it all its thing very nicely. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to request in some solid fuel. For here and for here. And that'll keep the locomotives uh, fueled up. Now, the next station that we want to add is the pickup. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to jump in. We're going to click run the train. And then we're going to go to the station. Now this should hang around for 30 seconds, because that's the time here, and then it will go back the other way. Now I'm going to let it do that, because I want to see that it works. One, two, three, and four. So I'm going to do a similar kind of setup here for loading. So as I said, it's nice and easy on the brain. And this will, oops, this will mean even distribution between the four belts. There it goes. So that train's all happy. That's going to keep running. Now, what I want to do is put down my mining. And I'm going to route all this in. Whoops. Obviously, I've got power lines already up here because I secured the area. Yeah. Yep, so that's all fine. Okay, here come the bots and the mines. We'll power them up. And now we're just going to stop the train for a moment and just see what this does. So you can see here how it's spreading it out equally. So each now each four is getting one each, so the four that comes through in a blob, it'll put them into each and then it just transfers it nicely. So that all works very nicely, very very good. We're going to run the train, and then we're going to watch it go back the other way. And then that'll probably tee up the, uh, the finish for our basic tutorial. I'm going to come back with another more advanced one shortly where we change this line around and we make it a little bit bigger do some different stuff with it any minute now just make that time a little bit shorter so here it comes gets to the station loads and unloads and see here that we probably need a belt balancer just to fix that but that is how you set up a basic train network i look forward to seeing you in the next video where i'll cover a bit more advanced stuff